good morning to all my dear students. Okay. Today also exponential equations model number two. There are seven questions similar to each other. Okay. Question number one: four to the power x plus one upon four to the power x is equal to sixteen whole number sixteen one by sixteen. Okay. Or let four to the power x is equal to a. Okay, a plus one by a is equal to sixteen sixty zero sixteen zero two hundred fifty six and one two hundred fifty seven by sixteen. Okay, in place of four x four to the power x, we can write a. Then taking LCM a square plus one by a. When LCM is a, <coughs> then we get a square plus one by a is equal to two hundred sixteen sixty zero two hundred fifty six and two hundred fifty seven. Okay, sixteen sixty zero two hundred fifty six plus one two hundred fifty seven two hundred fifty seven by sixteen. Okay, now by cross multiplication sixteen a square plus sixteen is equal to 257a clear or 16a square minus 257a plus 16 is equal to zero okay now the product of first term and last term is 256 then we have to factorize this 257 when we adding or subtract then we will get 257 And multiply 256. Then 16a square minus 256 plus 1a. Okay. When adding to each other, we get 257. When multiply these two numbers, then we get 256 is equal to zero. Okay. Or 16a square minus 256a. Minus a, 256 a minus a, and plus 16 is equal to zero. Or 16 a square. The taking common. Taking common from these two terms, the common is 16 a. Then we get a minus 16. Okay. And then from these two terms we get common minus one. Then a minus sixteen is equal to zero. Okay, or sixteen a minus one. Then a minus sixteen is equal to zero. Okay. Then replace the value of replacing the value of value of a. Okay. The value of a is four to the power x. The value of a is four to the power x. Then sixteen into four to the power x minus one. Okay, and four to the power x minus sixteen is equal to zero. Okay, this four and sixteen can we multiply? No. Why? Because the power of four is x and the power of sixteen is one. If Power are different, then we cannot multiply. Okay, either sixteen into four to the power x minus one equal to zero. There are two questions. Sixteen into four to the power x minus one is equal to zero, or four to the power x is equal to minus one in right side. Then you get one. Okay, then sixteen multiply divide to this. Clear, or Four to the power x is equal to one by four square. Clear? Then four to the power x is equal to four to the power minus two. This and this cancel. Therefore, x is equal to minus two. Any doubt? Now, or next equation, or four to the power x minus sixteen is equal to zero. Four to the power x minus sixteen is equal to zero. Or Four to the power x is equal to sixteen. 
4 to the power x is equal to 16 means 4 to the power 2 this and this cancel therefore x is equal to 2 ok. The value of x is 2 and minus 2 at last write the conclusion therefore x is equal to plus minus 2 answer that means plus o plus 2 or minus 2 clear 2 3 4 5 6 7 all are similar to question number 1 then you can do yourself ok ok let us next model model number 3 model number 3 <coughs> Model number 3, question number 1. 3 to the power x plus 3 to the power minus x is equal to 9 1 by 9. Okay. All are similar to question number 1. There are four que 8 questions. Or 3 to the power x, the power of 3 is negative. Okay. It should be changed into positive. How? 1 by 3 to the power x. 9 9 is 81 plus 1 82 divided by 9 clear let 3 to the power x is equal to a clear or in place of 3 to the power x we can write a a plus 1 by a is equal to 82 divided by 9. <coughs> Now, taking LCM, suppose this by 1 or a square plus 1 divided by a is equal to 82 to by divided by 9. Now, by cross multiplication, 9 is multiplied to this and a is multiplied to this. 9 a square plus 9 is equal to 82 a okay? or 9 a square minus 82 a plus 9 is equal to 0. Okay? The product of first term and last term is 81, then 82 is factorized to factorized, then when we adding or subtract then we will get 82 and multiply then we get 91 uh, sorry 81. Okay. Next step. or what is the next step 9 a square minus 81 plus 1 81 and 1 82 then 81 into 1 91 plus 9 is equal to 0 or 9 a square minus 81 a minus a plus 9 is equal to 0 then taking LCM sorry uh, common from these two terms and the common is 9a then a minus 9 ok. Then from these two terms the common is minus 1 a minus 9 is equal to 0 ok. Then a minus 9 and 9a minus 1 equal to 0, 0 ok. Now replacing the value of a replacing the replacing the value of a the value of a is 3 to the power x ok 3 to the power x minus 9 or 9 into 3 to the power x minus 1 is equal to 0 look here this 9 and 3 can you multiply no because why this this 9 and 3 can uh, cannot multiply because the power of 3 is x and here power of 9 is 1, power are different. If the power is different then we cannot multiply to each other then either ok, either 3 to the power x minus 9 is equal to 0 or 3 to the power x is equal to 9, 
3 to the power x is equal to 3 to the power 2 therefore, x is equal to 2 okay? or 9 into this 9 into 3 to the power x minus 1 is equal to 0 or 3 to the power x minus 1 in right side it will be positive this this 9 is divided to 1 okay? or 3 to the power x is equal to 1 upon 3 to the power 2 clear or 3 to the power x is equal to 3 to the power minus 2 this and this cancel therefore, x is equal to minus 2 okay? therefore, x is equal to plus minus 2 that means plus 2 and minus 2 is answer of this question. Okay? Then question number 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 remaining questions are similar to question number 1. Okay. Practice yourself. Okay. Now, next chapter radical equation, radical equations. radical equations short question okay model 1 question number 1 x minus 9 upon root x plus 3 is equal to 1 or okay x means whole square of root x. Okay? Whole square of root x means root x into root x when multiply to each other then we get x. Okay? 9 means 3 square okay? divided by root x plus root 3 is equal to 1. Any doubt here? Now, in numerator we can use the formula of a square minus b square. What is the product of a square minus b square? That is a plus b into a minus b. Okay? Now, here also root x square minus 3 square in place of a here is x and in place of b 3. Then we use a plus b root x plus root 3 sorry root x plus 3 root x plus 3 and root x minus 3 clear a plus b a minus b in denominator root x plus 3 is equal to 1 this and this cancel to each other and remaining root x minus 3 is equal to 1 it means root x is equal to 1 plus 3 clear or root x is equal to 4, then squaring both sides, squaring both sides, squaring both sides, only square of root x, okay? root x, then 4 square is equal to 4 square or only square of 4 x is, sorry x is x then 4 square means 16 therefore x is equal to 16 this is the answer of this question okay now question number 2 3 4 5 6 okay question number 6 question number 6 number 6 root x minus 7 under root x minus 7 plus under root x is equal to 7. Okay. What to do in next step? 
or root under x minus 7 is equal to can we write 7 minus root x can we write any doubt no okay then squaring both sides squaring both sides or root under x minus 7 whole square is equal to 7 minus root x whole square clear or then x minus 7 is equal to a minus b whole square a minus b whole square a minus b whole square that is a square minus 2 a b plus b square ok. In place of a here is 7 and in place of b here is root x then we can use this formula a square that, that is 7 square ok minus 2 a 7 b root x plus b square whole square of root x clear or x minus 7 is equal to 7 7 is 49 2 7 is 14 root x plus x clear or x minus x plus 14 root x this minus 14 root x in left side then it's, it will be positive then x this plus x it will be negative minus x is equal to 49 minus 7 in right side it will be positive plus 7 clear this x and x cancel then or 14 root x is equal to 56. <coughs> okay, next step or <coughs> root x is equal to 56 divided by 14, then 14 poja squaring both sides squaring both sides whole square of root x is equal to 4 square clear then whole square of root x means x is equal to 16 therefore x is equal to 16 this is the answer of this question ok ok question number 7 question number 7 let us start question number 7 Question number 7, <coughs> 4 minus this is cube root, cube root of 3y plus 4 is equal to 0 or 4 is equal to cube root of 3y plus 4, this is minus in right side it will be positive cubing both side cubing both sides cubing both side that is 4 cube is equal to 3 y plus 4 this is cube ok this cube and cube cancel to each other that means this ok 4 cube 3y plus 4 to the power 1 by 3 and here 3 ok this this cancel like this ok 4 cube means what is the value of 4 cube 4 into 4 into 4 into 4 ok 4 for the 16 16 for the 64 is equal to 3y plus 4 clear <coughs> then what is the next step sixty four minus four is equal to three y or three y is equal to sixty three y equal to sixty sixty y equal to sixty divided by three therefore y equal to 20 this is the answer of this questions okay 
ok. Now, question number 8, 10, 11, 12 is similar to question number 7, 13, 14 are similar to question number 6. Now, let us start question number 9, ok. Question number 9. Question number 9, <coughs> question number 9, root under y plus root under 5, which is divided by root under y minus root under 5 is equal to 3, clear? This, this 3, 3 divided by suppose 1, okay? now by using cross multiplication, by using cross multiplication. 3 into root under y that is 3 root under y okay? minus 3 root under 5 and 1 is multiplied to this root under y plus <coughs> root under 5 clear or 3 root under y this is minus root under y is equal to root 5 minus is plus 3 root 5 okay? or 2 root y is equal to 4 root 5 clear or root y is equal to 4 root 5 divided by 2, 2 to the 4 root y is equal to 2 root 5 cubing sorry squaring both sides squaring both sides squaring both sides squaring both sides <coughs> root under y is equal to square then 2 root 5 whole square okay this is y is equal to what 2 to the 4, 4 into 5, therefore y is equal to 20. This is the answer of this question. Any doubt? No. Okay. Now, let us start question number 15. <coughs> question number 15. Question number 15. Two x minus under root four x square minus fifteen is equal to three. Okay. R two x minus three, then this minus in right side it will be positive that is 4 x square minus 15 clear. Now, next step is, step is squaring squaring both sides squaring both sides. Okay. This means whole square of 2 x minus 3 is equal to root under 4 x square minus 15 whole square. Okay. <coughs> okay, look here a minus b whole square a minus b whole square the whole square of a minus b means a square minus 2 a b plus b square okay. in place of a here is 2 x that is a square whole square of 2 x whole square of 2 x minus 2 a 2 x b 3 clear plus b square 3 square and square root of this under root this what square of this under root remove that radical sign minus 15 ok or 4 x square minus 2 to the 4 4 is a 2 will 2 will x plus 9 is equal to 4 x square minus 
15 clear or 4 x square minus 12 x minus 4 x square minus 4 x this 4 x square is in left side it will be negative then my plus 9 minus 15 minus 9 this and this cancel then minus 12 x is equal to minus 24 minus and minus cancel ok x is equal to 24 divided by 12 therefore, x is equal to 2 answer this is the answer of this questions ok. okay. Then question number 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 all are similar to above questions now you can do yourself practice yourself now next ok. Now, let us start long questions ok from radical equation long questions model 1. Question number 1, ok. 5 x minus 4 which is divided by root under 5 x plus 2 is equal to 4 minus root under 5 x minus 3 divided by 2, ok. Ok. 5 x minus 4 root under 5 x plus 2 4 minus this. 5 x means root under 5 x whole square. 4 means whole square of 2 and denominator root 5 x plus 2 clear whole square of root 5 x means 5 x whole square of 2 means 4 clear. Now, taking LCM here 2 is LCM 2 to the 4 minus better to use bracket here 5 x minus 3 clear sorry 2 for the 8 or a square minus b square we use a square minus b square that is a plus b a minus b ok. In place of a root 5 x root 5 x plus b plus 2 a minus b root 5 x minus 2 divided by root 5 x plus 2 is equal to 8 minus root 5 x minus minus plus 3 divided by 2 this this cancel then root 5 x minus 2 which is multiply by 2 by cross multiplication 2 root 5 x minus 4 2 to the 4 is equal to 8 and 3 11 minus root 5 x or 2 root 5 x this minus root 5 x in left side it will be changed the sign is positive that is 5 x is equal to 11 minus 4 is on right side and it will be positive that is 4 clear or 3 root 5 x is equal to 15 and next step is root 5 x is equal to 15 divided by 3, 3 5 is 15. Now, squaring both sides, squaring both sides, both sides root 5 x whole square is equal to 5 square clear or 5 x is equal to 25, x is equal to 25 divided by 5. Therefore, x is equal to 5 answer which is the answer of this question ok ok there are 12 questions similar to each other you can do yourself practice yourself at home ok thank you very much have a nice day